In this video tutorial from Backyard Beekeeping and Miller Bee Supply, we'll take you through the basic steps of harvesting your honey. When the time comes to harvest your honey, usually in late summer, you first want to remove your bees from the supers. Here's what you'll need. Gloves, veil, hive tool, smoker, bee brush, and we'll be using an escape board today. In southern Wisconsin, we pull our supers before Labor Day, which gives us enough time to do a mite treatment before the frost. Today, we'll be talking about how to use an escape board. This is our preferred method. The escape board acts as a one-way valve. Bees can exit through a set of flexible springs, but cannot return. Place the escape board between the hive body and the supers during the daytime hours. Next, Wait overnight to let the bees return to the hive body from the supers. The next day they will not be able to return to the supers. Remove the escape board, pull the supers, and get ready to harvest. Now it's time to move into a process called extracting, essentially removing the honey from the comb. Start with a clean workspace and make sure all of your equipment and honey containers have been thoroughly cleaned. Protect your flooring as needed. Here is the equipment you'll need for the process we'll demonstrate today. A capping scratcher, an uncapping tank, a serrated knife or electric knife, a compact extractor, bottling bucket, jars of your preferred size, a finely woven strainer for a 5 gallon bucket, and make sure all of your equipment has been cleaned. With your equipment cleaned and ready to go, let's extract. Only harvest honey on frames that are mostly capped. Bees cap honey when it reaches the ideal water content of 18%. To uncap your frames, place your less dominant hand on the top of the vertically aligned frame. Use your other hand to gently but swiftly and evenly uncap the wax. Turn the frame around and repeat the process. Use your capping scratcher to uncap any remaining capped cells on both sides of the frame. Place the uncapped frame in the extractor. Once you have the correct number of frames uncapped for your size extractor, it's time to spin the frames. You'll hear a whooshing sound as the honey hits the side of the extractor as you turn the crank. Once the honey has all been released, turn the frames over and spin again. Set the spent frames back in an empty super for now. Place a bottling bucket with strainer under your extractor valve. The honey will drain into the strainer where the beeswax will be filtered out. Don't let your strainer get over full. You can turn up the valve if your strainer can't keep up with the extractor's output. Once your bottling bucket is full, or you have uncapped and spun all your frames, you'll want to place your bottling bucket on a table. You may want to keep track of how much honey you harvest. This way, you can see if you're harvesting more or less in years to come. We weigh our buckets before filling the jars, and keep in mind a small frame equals about three pounds of honey. Now it's time to bottle. It's best to have help during this process. One person can cap the jars immediately after they are filled. That way you don't have to keep turning off the valve that allows the honey to flow into the jars. You generally get less mess and less waste when you have an assistant. With your honey bottled, all that should remain is leftover beeswax in your strainer and uncapping tank. You can crush the beeswax in your tank and get a bit more honey. We keep this honey for ourselves as it tends to have a bit more wax content. You can learn how to render beeswax for candles, soap, and more at backyardbeekeeping.imcountryside.com. You may be surprised how little wax you have after harvesting dozens of pounds of honey. Now for storage and cleanup. You can put your equipment and spent frames out for bees and wasps to help clean up, with two words of caution. Do not put them by entrances you use frequently, and do not put them close to your hives. It will encourage robbing behavior. After the bees have had their fill, you'll want to thoroughly clean and store your equipment. Store your honey at room temperature out of direct sunlight. Never store honey in a refrigerator, which speeds up crystallization. You can freeze honey, which actually stops crystallization. For more great tips like this, 
visit backyardbeekeeping.imcountryside.com.